hi and welcome to my channel today is thursday and that means it is time for another episode of true crime tales with christy as always we have a content warning gets a little uh, graphic so just if that's not gonna work for you you should move on <laughs> so we're gonna talk about the murder of larry mcnabney mcnabney Larry McNabney was a Sacramento, California attorney whose body was found buried in a vineyard on February 5th, 2002. After a nationwide van hunt, his wife, Elsa McNa Elisa McNabby, was captured in Florida and arraigned for first-degree murder. The case made national headlines when police learned that her real name was actually Lauren Sims and that she had served time in a Florida prison for fraud and identity threat theft. Before Elisa could stand trial, however, she hanged herself in her jail cell. Elisa's friend Sarah Dutra was later convicted of voluntary manslaughter and sentenced to 11 years in prison for murdering Larry. Elisa McNabney was born Lauren Renee Sims to parents Jesse and Jackie Sims in Attleboro, Massachusetts before moving to Florida. Lauren was a cheerleader and excellent student at Hernando High School. She had an IQ of 140. Despite her intelligence, she dropped out of high school, had two children with two different fathers, and started stealing. Lauren was arrested for stealing a L'Oreal hair color kit from a Woolworths in Tampa, Florida. After being released on that charge, she violated her probation by illegally using a credit card. She cut off her ankle monitor and headed to Las Vegas, Nevada with her daughter, Haley, who was born on January 29th of 1985. Over the years, Lauren Sims has had a total of 38 aliases, including Melissa Godwin, Tammy Keelan, Elizabeth Barosk, a woman she met in Florida prison, Elisa Redelsberger, the name she used when she met Larry McNabney, and Shane... Ivoroni, the name she used while she was on the run. Elisa Redelsberger met Larry McNabney in 1995 when she applied for a job in his Las Vegas law office. She worked as his office manager and assisted McNabney in settling a number of large cases. Subsequently, in late 1995, Larry's law firm was investigated by the Nevada State Bar, which determined that Elisa embezzled more than $140,000 from clients. Larry closed his offices in Reno and Las Vegas and Nevada and moved his practice to Sacramento, California. Despite this, Elisa became McNabney's fifth wife in 1996. On September 10, 2001, following a horse show, Elisa McNabney and her fellow employee and friend Sarah Dutra, with whom she worked at the law office, injected Larry with the horse tranquilizer drug Xylazine at a Los Angeles hotel. McNabney, 52, was last seen alive being pushed in a wheelchair by Sims at a Los Angeles horse show September 10th. A day later, authorities said Elisa, or Sims, started clearing out his office and sold his $110,000 horse trailer and truck. According to her later confession, Elisa drove to Yosemite National Park to bury Larry, but he was still alive and she returned with the unconscious Larry in the back seat to Sacramento. After his death the next day, September 12th, from receiving the initial tranquilizer injection, along with numerous later doses of other tranquilizer injections and mouth drops, it was estimated by the forensic examiners that Elisa and Sarah presumably had kept McNabney's body in the refrigerator in the McNabney garage for months. His body was later moved to the nearby winery, near where it was finally discovered by San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office detectives in a shallow ditch near Linden, California on February 5th, 2002. By that time, however, Elisa had liquidated the couple's assets, totaling more than $500,000 and disappeared. After the discovery of Larry's body, Elisa was the subject of a nationwide manhunt. She was going by the alias Shane Ivoroni and was hiding out in Destin, Florida. On March 20, 2002, Elisa was staying at her daughter Haley's friend's house in Fort Walton Beach when she turned herself in. She was booked into the Hernando County Jail and was to be extradited to California. While awaiting extradition, Elisa gave a full confession to law enforcement while in custody at the Okaloosa County, Florida. Sheriff's Department. One week later, on Easter Sunday 2002, Elisa hanged herself in her jail cell. Sarah Dutra went on trial for the murder of Larry McNabney in 2003. She faced life imprisonment without parole if convicted of first-degree murder, but she was instead found guilty of voluntary manslaughter and being an accessory to murder. She was sentenced to the maximum of 11 years, 8 months in prison. 
And Elisa McNamney's suicide note, she asked her lawyer to sue the Hernando County Jail for not preventing her suicide. She also asked that her children receive any funds raised from the lawsuit. This is all I can give to my children. My actions now will allow them to move into the future without this heavy burden. They won't have to watch my trial on court TV. It should all die with me, she wrote in the note. She also claims that she was not checked regularly in her cell, but an investigation has since disputed the charge. Sarah Dutra was released from Central California Women's Facility on August 26, 2011, after serving 85% of her 11-year sentence. This case was the basis for the made-for-TV movie, Lies My Mother Told Me, which aired on Lifetime in 2005. The film starred Jolie Richardson as Elisa, Caitlin C. as Sarah, and Hayden Pantier as Haley. The case was featured on the television programs Dateline, Evil Stepmothers, Deadly Wives, and Snapped. The case is also the basis for the true crime novel Marked for Death by Brian J. Cream. I am trying to find longer cases. Um, these have been really short, but like everything else, I've already done. Um, so <laughs> I'm trying to find longer cases that have a little bit more in depth to them. But for today, this is all I have. Um, as always, please don't do anything I wouldn't do. Make good choices and be cautious and kind to others. And I'll see y'all next week. Bye.